Hey guys, this is Gloria. I am back to share with you guys another thrift haul that I'm gonna um that I did this weekend. Um, I'm gonna share with you guys the stuff that I picked up from Goodwill, Salvation Army. Um, I also was able to visit two um different sales. One was a craft sale um that was happening in the area. I had just looked up and found it, um, looking on garage sales.net. And then the other one is um a church rummage sale. So I'll try to get through um, everything in one video. Um, so the first thing I'll show you guys is this jar right here. Super cute and it has this bunny um, painted on there. And I wanted to pick it up for my daughter. And so this one was $2.99 at Goodwill. I just thought it was super cute. And I think she can like put her like um, makeup brushes or something like that in the inside of that. Um, then from Goodwill. I also picked up this book by Joyce Meyer. It's Power Thoughts, 12 Strategies to Win the Battle of the Mind. So I like reading these books. So I went on and picked that up. And I believe the books were $2. So I went on and got that. Sorry about the rattling. Um, I did pick up these strawberry... Um, napkin holders and I thought they were really cute and I was thinking though that I could make a mold out of them and like make some lighter weight strawberries or something to put on a project or just use these as um napkin ring holders in the summertime so they were 99 cents so I went on and picked them up because you got two for a dollar and I thought that was a pretty good deal um let's see I got more of these ball jars. You guys know I shared with you guys the um, the ribbon setup that I have going on. So um, I got the idea from Tanya, and she like took all of her ribbon off of the spools and then reorganized it, and she put hers in like Ziploc bags and stuff. But I was thinking to put them in the mason jars because then I can see them and I just think these are super pretty as well so I haven't decided if I'm going to try to like paint just over the ball part like the raised part and the mason part or just leave them clear I like them clear because then I can see what's down inside of each jar so um, I picked up another one of those in a smaller size because I'm gonna use the bigger ones and the smaller ones i wish that would have been the wide mouth one because i think i want those more than i want the you know those small you know the small ones but i'm like that's okay i'll just work with what i have um i also picked up this little arrangement and this one is probably going to go in my room um but it's like pinks and creams and it's really cute. And this one was $2, only $2. That was not bad at all. So I went on and picked that up. And I love the little pedestal look that it has. It's really cute. Um, I also found this. And I thought maybe I could mix, up, mix this up and then use it in my molds maybe. But it was only $1.99. It's patching plaster. And so I figure maybe I can, you know, use these in my molds and stuff. So we'll see how that turns out. But it was only $1.99. Um, it is open. I don't know if this type of thing, like, if it expires or what. But for $2, I figure I would try it and um, see how that works. Again, I also bought a basket because I always buy baskets from there. Um, I think I'm going to use the basket that I just bought maybe in my trunk you know, in the trunk of my car, because it's a nice size basket. Not super big, but it is a nice size. Um, so, um, I think that is all that I got from Goodwill, other than the other mason jars that I just didn't share with you guys, because they all look alike, because they're just mason jars. So, let me show you what I got from Salvation Army. I haven't been over there in a while, so I wanted to run up in there and just see. And we were on that side of town, so we just stopped in, me and my daughter, but I found this, um, My Baby's Prince, and um, it's to create a lasting keepsake of your baby's hand or foot. So it was $1.99. So I went on to pick that up. I'm hoping that it's not, um, 
like expired, like it's still usable. Um, but I went on and picked that up. And then I also picked up this rolling pin um, to use with my clay. And it was $1.97. Um, and then I just seen this one little lonely um, Santa, Mrs. Miss Claus uh, shaker. And it is like a salt or pepper shaker, but it was only 67 cent. And I figured I could use this and put some glitter in the inside. And, um, you know, when I'm not using it, stash it away in my Christmas stuff. Um, that's the same thing I'm going to do with the um, the Halloween one that I picked up from Goodwill. Uh, not Goodwill, but Dollar Tree. So these were the Halloween ones that I had picked up from Dollar Tree. And I wasn't going to use them on my table. I'm thinking I'm going to put like um, black glitter in one and maybe orange glitter in the other and use these specifically for Halloween. That way I can just store it away in my Halloween stuff um, and, you know, have it to use next year or whatever. So that's what I plan to do with her is to put some um, nice glitter inside of her and use that for um, Christmas. Um, so then I was super excited to find this. This is Diamond Dust. And it was a dollar and ninety-seven cents. So I picked that up. It's not a full bottle, it's about a half of a bottle, but it's super pretty as you can see how well it's sparkling in the jar. So I was happy to pick up that big jar for two bucks. Um let's see what else. What else? So I went to that um crafty crafty sale, and one lady was doing um stuff was like two dollars or you can fill a bag for two dollars so of course i was like well i'm gonna fill the bag so i filled the bag and um i actually filled two bags and so i just gave her um five dollars for both of them because i told her you know she didn't have to give me any change back because i thought it was really cool i mean super cheap you know but anyway, I you can put in the bag whatever you want from this particular area. So I got a bunch of these little um, elves. And I was thinking that would be cool to put like in friend mail or something like that during the holidays. And so this is the way they look. And I'm guessing they're all the same. But it looks like they can hug something. And it looks like you can pose them. Yeah, it feels like you can pose them as well. So... I found about five of these, and I guess you can also use these for, um, like, Elf on the Shelf. Oh, I think their hair is a different color, too. Some of the hair is darker, some of it is lighter, but I thought it was a great deal to fill a bag for $2. So, I got those. I got these because, of course, they were bowls, and I had to have them, and these because they were bowls. And these little ornaments, they're super cute. Little rocking horses. And they have like a little bit of glitter on them. Very pretty. Um, angel wings. So a bunch of angel wings, which would be cool for the project that I'm working on now. Um, this gorgeous bronzy kind of um, uh, sequin trim it's not a whole lot on there but it's enough um this pretty purple sequin trim um these little tins and i had an idea with those tins and i'll share with you guys in one second um these little hearts um i was thinking pin cushions when i saw those I thought this was a great idea, so I wanted to pick up one of these to even try to mimic this. This is nothing but a tassel, and it has a angel wing glued onto the back of it, and it has some little bells um, tied around by the neck area. I thought that was really cute, so I went on and picked those up so that I can maybe try to replicate those. Um, I got these wooden hearts. I got a bunch of these bottle brush trees and so my idea with this when I saw it was you can make like a little winter scene by putting like the um, Christmas tree in there and some of the other stuff that I picked up um, you can even 
you know, set it up straight like this if you wanted to and make the seam down inside of there. I thought that would be cute as well. Um, and so I got a bunch of those Christmas trees. Um, there were a bunch of these little bunnies, which I thought that was really cute. And they were different colors. Um, this lady said that she used to make crafts and sell her crafts and she just stopped doing it. Um, I got these yellow um, mushrooms and they're wooden. And I also got those in pink somewhere in here. Um, I also got a bunch of these little wreaths. Um, I got this because I picked up the paper clip or not paper clip but clothespin things that she had and she had some of these already made up and so I was like you know what let me take one of those and it has a magnet on the back as well but I was like let me take one of those so that I'll know how to complete you know the project once I try to complete it so I got those um it's a bunch of duplicates up in here so I'm not going to bore you with the duplicates but this is the doll accessories these are little noses and then I also have the little eyes. So it's a bunch of those. Um, I got some pumpkins that look like this. I mean, this this lady had a lot of stuff and she was super nice. She just kept saying, Oh, get as much as you want. Just put, you know, put whatever you want in the bag. So um got those little um Christmas mini treat ornaments. Um, I got this white sequin. Um, I got the gold bows. I thought those were so pretty. Um, here are the blue mushrooms. Maybe I didn't get pink mushrooms. Maybe they were blue. Um, and mind you, this is all one bag. I got two of these for a mini tree. And they're the little um, Easter bunnies and ducks and stuff like that. little string of um like light bulbs really cute um, some little carrots so i mean she had she had a, a bunch of stuff um little spider <laughs> that was already made up um so i think everything else that's in this bag is like a duplicate and so i filled that bag and then I went back and I told her I was like I'm just going so she she was saying just go ahead take a bag it's, it, you know it's okay and I'm like no I, you know I wanted to pay her for it because I do realize that we spend a lot of money on these things and when we go to resale stuff we definitely don't get you know what we pay for it of course but also you know you do want to get some of your money back from all of this stuff and me spending five dollars with her was definitely not paying her back for this stuff and I'm, I'm sure she just wanted to get rid of it but I you know so anyway I um picked up I thought these were super pretty I picked up these flowers these a bunch, I got a bunch of different flowers um these are falling out I got these little hats just on picks as well. Um, and then more little little flowers and I don't know. She just she has so much stuff. More of these flowers. They're super pretty. And I was thinking I could definitely use them in like different arrangements and stuff because I like um making um, artificial flower arrangements and stuff to sit around my house because I really can't deal too too much with the actual fragrant flowers. There's another one of those spiders. Um, and then here are the clothes pins that I got. Um, I got these lashes. <sighs> I don't know what I'm going to do with them, but I got those lashes. Um more hearts and wreaths little tiny hearts and they're wooden um some of these little door posts they look like um signs like wood signs but those would be cool in, the, in some type of winter project 
Um, of course, I had to grab these little Easter bowls in those pretty colors. Very, very pretty. Um, these little Valentine's um, ornaments, but they're hearts. Really cute. Um, and so, yeah, just a lot of stuff like that. Um, these little things like this that can be used in like shadow boxes and stuff. And I love these little deer. So cute to put in like shadow boxes and stuff for the winter time. And so, yeah, just, a, just more of the same, you know. I bought some of these um, big old, you know, balls with like a hole in it um, because I was, you know, thinking about a project that I wanted to do. And so she had a bunch of those and she helped me dig them out and really, really sweet lady. So that is about it um, from that table. There were about seven, maybe six or seven tables, I guess. Um, and, you know, different people were selling different things. So I made sure that I went around to each and every table and I spent money at each and every table. Um, and so I'll show you. I can't remember what I got from who after this because I just, you know, was throwing it in the bag. But I did pick up this stencil. And the stencil has like the little kid um, bust on there. So I thought that was pretty cool. That was $1.50. I picked up this stamp. It was 50 cent. It says, we all take different paths in life. But no matter where we go, we take a little of each other everywhere. I thought that was really cool. That was 50 cents. Um, I picked up these flowers, really pretty flowers, and these were a dollar and fifty cents. I found this um, deep red cling stamp of this lady. I thought that was really, really pretty, and it was two dollars. Looks like it was never used. I think I probably have to cut around it, like trim around it or whatever. But yeah, I picked up that for two bucks. Um, I got this angel girl, spent a little bit more on her than, you know, but I, I just wanted to make sure I got something from each seller. So pick that up for $3 and I grabbed this Melinda stamp by sweet, sweet stamps. And this one was 50 cents and I picked up this little ghost and he was two bucks probably could have gotten for way cheaper on aliexpress but like i said i just wanted to make sure i bought something from everybody and this one i got um it just says you both of these say you and it has a star heart a star and a heart right there so that's a little die set two bucks so that goes Let's see what else. Sorry about that, guys. Um, I picked up this wooden um, birdhouse type thing, and it was painted already. So I went on and picked that up. I'm not sure how the little door came off because it was on there. But um, I'll try to fix that up. But I was thinking it was um, a dollar because I bought this one, and I also bought a natural wood one that I can paint myself. But I was thinking I could possibly use it for... Um, Halloween and I also I thought this stencil was really cool I picked up this stencil of this girl I had never seen anything like this before but it was three dollars a little pricey but I went on and grabbed it um, and then oh here is the um, the natural colored one was right here so I picked up that oh so maybe it, it wasn't together I don't know because this one has hinges on it and that black one does not but that's okay I can figure something out um, I picked up this stamp and it's just of this fence and I grabbed this bag of stamps and I don't even know what was in this bag. It was a dollar, so I went on and grabbed it. Um, the one stamp that I did see that I really liked was this one right here. 
and it's just of this flower and the lady was trying to explain to me who this is by but i don't know and then it's got some sentiment stamps in it and you know just different kind of stamps some that need to be mounted sorry about that um some that i'll probably never use so i'll probably resell or gift but um yeah a lot of stuff that I probably won't use, but I thought even for this one, it was worth the dollar for that one to use, like in Bible journaling or something like that. So, um, yeah, so that is what I got from that sale. Um, then I also went to a thrift store that is new to me. And um, I found a few things there. I have been on the hunt for a old school Rolodex. You guys know I mentioned that before. I found some, but the two that I found have been the mini ones. And I want the one that stands up, you know, that look kind of like the Heidi Swap one. But I still can't find it. But anyway, I found this perforated paper and it's two sheets up in here nine by twelve and you can do you know this type of um stitching on there so i went on and picked that up um i did find this roller decks this is not the one that i wanted but it's a start um because i really want to do like some type of um roller decks challenge or something memory decks challenge because i just think they're so cool um, I picked up these um, doilies, and I've never seen like this green color. I thought that was super pretty. And so the green one was, oh, come on. The green one was $1.50, I guess, because it's a little rarer than the others. Um, this little one, this little square one was $0.25, cents, and this one was $0.50. Cent. And this one is really pretty as well it was only 50 cent so I thought that was super pretty so I went on and picked those up um, I also got this it says that it is um, for the side of the bed where you can like I guess put your like remote and all that stuff down inside of I thought that was really cool that's what the tag says bedside holder and it was two dollars so I went on and picked that up um, They also had um, felt, and so I picked it up in this brown. It was thirty-five cents, and then I also picked up this color right here that was like a tan kind of color. And both of those were no. This one was thirty cent, and this one was thirty-five cent. I was super excited to find this vintage fabric, and this one was fifty cent, and then this one was fifty cent as well. And so it's super pretty, really, really vintage -y. Let me try to take this off so you can see. So that is the pattern for that one. And it's not a lot, you know, but it's still super cute. Sorry about that. And then this one with the baby on there. So that one. And so both of those were 30 cents. I found this to make... Um, it's used to make jewelry with. It was a dollar fifty cent. It's all wooden, so I went on and picked that up. That was a good find. Um, this was fifty cent, and this is for a needle point. I think that's what it's called. So I got that, and that's um, it's got six different floral floral designs on there. So I picked that up. I also picked this up. I thought this would probably be fun to try to create. And this is a mountain doll kit. And it was $1.25. And it has um, the fabric and all that stuff in the inside to make the doll with. Um, that's the trim. Trying to show it to you at the same time. So I got this white eyelet trim. And this one was 35 cents. I got this vintage type of trim. And this one was 30 cents. That's the way it looks. Um, I got this really pretty, um, really, really pretty paint trim. Eyelash trim. It was a dollar. 
I got this one. It's like a gingham pattern. And that one was 30 cents. This one was 25 cents. And it's one yard in here. It's a nice blue color. Very pretty blue lacy um, color. And then this pom-pom trim that was 30 cents. Very, very pretty. Like, um, very light blue. Like a baby blue. Very pretty. Um, it's got these hook on eye hook. Wait a minute. Sew on hook and eye closures. 40 cents. Um, this light switch. I just thought it was super pretty. It was only 25 cents. Um, so I got this one polka dot trim 25 cents these gorgeous pink buttons they were 40 cents um, this lace that is deer skin so it's like a leather almost but it was 30 cents um, I don't know why they call it lace um, this I just wanted it to sit like on where my little sewing stuff is here in my sewing um, in my craft room it was 30 cents um this um yarn stuff i can't remember right now what it's called sorry guys i'm getting tired 25 cents and i got this wool and it's called spice oatmeal it was 75 cents you can use it for like hair and stuff like that um, this was 25 cents and it's just a pillow pattern. And I got this doll head and it is Holly Hobby um, doll head and it was $1. Ooh, I'm glad it didn't fall on the floor because it just fell out the bag. Um, I got this to go in my room. I just thought this was super pretty. Um, it was $3. So I did pick that up. And that was like in their showcase area. And so I think, let me see. I'm just looking around. I think that's about it. I think that's, well, I do have more stuff because I went to a church rummage sale. Oh my gosh. And so... Um, I'm just going to put that in another video because I am very tired right now. So actually what I'll do is I'll just film it at another time and I'll add all of the parts together and give you one big video. So that is about it right now, guys. If you have any questions or comments, just leave them down below and I'll get back with you as soon as I possibly can. There will be another part, though, after this part. So stay tuned. Take care. Bye-bye. Okay, guys, I am back. I got a bit of a second win here so i'm just going to go ahead and try to finish up this haul video so that i can go ahead and get it out for you guys um so the next thing that i'm going to share is some stuff that i picked up from um the church rummage sale and i love church rummage sales because you just never know what you're going to find um so i picked up a few things um first thing that i picked up was this kind of vase and I love it it was a dollar and it's like mercury glass almost but it looks like that one that I just picked up recently from um, the garage sale so I picked up that one and this one is smaller than the one that I picked up from the garage sale um, the next thing that I picked up was this it's wrapped up um, in, in some material, but um, I found this little bud vase thingy, um, and it was originally six ninety nine from um, Target, but it was a dollar, and so I picked that up. I thought that was really cute. I actually just saw some of those at the Salvation Army, and they wanted like three dollars for the small one, then four dollars for the medium size, and five dollars, I believe, for the largest one. So when I saw that, when I wanted went on and got it i picked this up for my bedroom i thought this was super pretty or i may keep it down here in the craft room haven't decided yet but it was one dollar it has this butterfly on the top and it is a pink okay the next thing that i picked up was this bag and it had um this uh piece of material in it i don't know if it was a part of a um a curtain but it also had these uh other pieces this is tool like a cream or champagne color tool. Very pretty. 
And then this is some type of mesh. I don't know what that is, but it was only 25 cents for the bag. So I went on and picked that up for 25 cents. Um, they also had this butter dish and this is by um, Pioneer Woman. And I just thought it was really pretty. So I went on and picked that up. It was um, $3. So I got the bag. I may use that in, you know, in my, you know, here in the craft room or something like that. Um, I also got this. Um, this is a brush, a stenciling brush, I think, but I'm not sure. But it was only 50 cents. So I picked that up for crafting. Um, I also picked up the salt and pepper shaker. And it was um, $1 for the set. And I believe this is also Pioneer Woman. So I went on and picked that up as well. Super pretty. Um, I found this little shoe pin cushion. So this is going to go here in my craft room. And I'll put it on my little shelf where my um, sewing stuff is. But it was only $0.50. Cents, so I went on and picked that up. this um, J mug and I was going to give it to my daughter. It was only 25 cents. Um, so I picked that up for her. And I also found two of these plastic um, drink glasses and they were 50 cents for both um, both pink ones. So I love the color. So I'm going to grab those. Um, I also picked up this frame it's a really cool frame um looks like this um looks like a window right almost like a window and then it has like a stand on the back and it's completely see-through so it has two pieces of glass inside the frame and it was only 50 cents so i thought that that was a really good deal for a frame like that so i went on and grabbed that and let's see oh the last thing, I think this is the last thing that I got from there. So the last thing that I got was this pretty, pretty winter house. I just thought this was so pretty. And it was three bucks. And it is a pretty blue with light blue and teal. And it's just glittery and it's just cute. And some of the windows are yellow. I just love it. I think it's super pretty. And like I said, it was $3. I can't really get it all in frame, but it is super cute. So I, think, I think that's all I got. Um, seemed like I got something else from that particular sale. Because I remember when I walked out, I had the box. Cause they put all my stuff inside of a box and I had the box and then I also had something else in my hand. Oh, oh, it was something for someone else. That's what it was. So I did get something else, but it's not craft related or my home related. So, you know, but that is about it. That is all that I picked up. And that is a lot that I picked up from the different, um, uh, Goodwills and thrift stores and, um, garage sales and, church sales and all that good stuff so that is it guys so as always if you guys have any questions or comments just leave them down below and i'll get back with you as soon as i possibly can take care guys bye